have a cookie Monday. I'm so excited. Why? Because um, there's some really exciting flavors this week. That's why. And also, it's like 60 degrees in New England right now. This is absurd. We normally have a snowfall during this time of year, but it's been 60 for like four days in the past like week and a half. I've been pumped. Anyways, we went to Crumble Cookie. We have some exciting flavors this week. We have birthday cake. This is the vanilla glaze free tree featuring Cinnamon Toast Crunch Neapolitan that I'm very excited for. And this was a mystery cookie this week. They also had the chocolate peanut butter chip, but I've had that cookie before. It's good. I wanted to try the mystery one. It's hazelnut churro featuring Nutella. I want to bite into that so badly. Okay, let's go down the line. We will show them up front. Birthday cake is just so beautiful. I've had a birthday cake before. I'm pretty sure when it was Crumble's birthday they had this, but I think the sprinkles were like confetti sprinkles, I think. This one sounds really good. And it's also one of those like really soft cookies too. I'm excited for that one. This one just looks cool. The Neapolitan, it's a chocolate and then a vanilla cookie smothered with a strawberry icing or frosting. And then this, I know the break open is just gonna be wildly absurd. Like the break open is gonna be so sensual, it's not even funny. So normally I start with the vanilla flavored ones first. I don't know which one to start with because they're all kind of vanilla flavored except for the Neapolitan. So let's do birthday cake. This actually feels like a different birthday cake type crust cookie, but I could be wrong. The cookie itself feels a little more crunchier than what it normally does. Ooh. Yeah, oh no, <laughs> whoopsies. Ooh, this is, I know. This is just like fun and sweet and I freaking love this cookie when they do bring it. Oh, hello, man. Yeah, it's delicious, it's sweet, and a little crunchy. The frosting tastes like the best kind of like Duncan Hines frosting that I just want to stick my whole finger in. Like as a kid, I would have grabbed a spoonful of this. It's delicious. I've had it before, which is why I know it's delicious. It's great. I can eat this whole thing. All right. Next up. We're gonna do the vanilla glaze featuring cinnamon toast crunch. I think this might be, this is gonna be Nikki's favorite. I know it for a fact. Oh my gosh, that tastes like cinnamon toast crunch in a milk. Like, I don't know if you guys have um, in your neck of the woods, we have an ice cream spot that does cereal milk ice cream. That's what that icing tastes like. Please don't fall apart. Ooh, yeah. We're two for two on the break opens, guys. Okay. I'm gonna give myself a good little bite. Oh, that's, that's a good bite. This is very, very cakey. Can you see how much that fluffed up? That is so airy and cakey and soft. Very different cookie than the other one, texture-wise. Interesting. This tastes more like cake than a cookie, but I'm not complaining because it's like a cookie fried cake. A cake, cookie fried cake, yes. It makes it handheld. This is more spiced, cinnamony. It has a lot of like spiced notes, very holiday esque notes. It's subtle, not overly sweet. The sweetness comes from the icing, but I kind of like that because it balances it out really nicely, to be honest. That was great. That was great. 
If you're looking for that to be overly sweet though, it's not gonna be. Don't go into it with that expectation. This one I'm most excited for because I want to see what it looks like on the inside. I feel like it's gonna be Nutella filled. And I, I hope this break open is as pretty as what I think it's gonna look like. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Which, which part do I want? I think I want this piece right here. That's a good piece. At this point, I'm so used to having cookies on Mondays for breakfast that this, I might as well just start having cookies for breakfast every day. I feel like it's just like my normal routine now. Mmm. Oh, that's good. My pretty cookie of the week. Is either this one or the vanilla glaze it's a vanilla glaze it's the other one this one's this one's nice this one's also just like it's almost like a snickerdoodle-esque cookie it has that cinnamon sugar on the top yeah cinnamon sugar on the top the crunchy on the outside of the cookie the inside's very like moist and chewy the Nutella in the middle is just like a pleasant surprise to be honest. It's warm right now because obviously the cookies are fresh, which just just makes it that much better. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about how this week has been is gonna be playing out. I know a lot of kids have school off this week. It's February vacation. This is the thing about getting old. You don't remember anything that you did. Like when was February vacation? Couldn't even tell you. I remember there was February vacation, but I used to like look I used to look forward to that day every single year. That was like my pride and joy. Like I February vacation was like because you had Christmas vacation and then you would have April. It was like that smack dab in the middle that just broke up the months a little bit. Can we have a February vacation for school for not school for work, please? I would love a February vacation for work. Like all of a sudden you just have a week off. It would be amazing. This is a chilled cookie, FYI. Look at that. That's so cool. I like this cookie. I wonder if the flavors, I'm curious because I feel like the flavors won't be too strong. I think a lot of the flavor might come from that strawberry frosting on top, which there was a cookie last week with the strawberry frosting. Which one was that? Mmm. I really have to like to feel the notes of it because the chocolate's not very prominent and neither is the vanilla. But this taste, like I just took a scoop of a Neapolitan ice cream also. I only see it in this little piece right there, but there's a little strawberry fleck right there. Which means that they're using like either dried, freeze dried strawberries or just strawberries in it. That is really good. This is like my surprised cookie. Like I just didn't think I was, I was excited to try it because I think it looked really cool. But I wasn't sure if it was going to own up to the Neapolitan ice cream. It was just too hard to tell. It's hard to bring ice cream flavors to a cookie. But I think they nailed it. And I think the chilled part of this actually helps. The frosting itself is very cold, which almost to me gives it like an, an ice cream like feeling. I really like that. All right. Down the line. Mm, this is hard because there's no, there was no cookie in here this week that I would be like, ugh. Not innovative. If I had the peanut butter or whatever, the chocolate peanut butter chip, that probably would have been last for me because it's not, it's just a chocolate peanut butter cookie. There's nothing like really, really cool or different about it. I, that's why I purposely got this one, which I think my location only has it from Monday to Wednesday. It was really good though. So I hope that you guys have the opportunity to be able to try it one day. 
so let me see i think i'm gonna do the birthday cake i've had it before but it's really good so i think i'm gonna do oh this is hard i'm gonna do first mm, first second third fourth yes i'm gonna commit first second third fourth this is really good it's phenomenal I just, I'm used to it, I guess, at this point. It just tastes, it tastes delicious. But the, this one was just super pretty and light, and it reminds me of a cake more than a cookie, which I thought was really cool, because then you can, like, bring it in a handheld. Like, I don't need a slice of cake with a fork and a plate in my car. Like, the handheld version. I think that's so cool. It almost tastes like a cinnamon spiced cake, just with icing on top and then cinnamon toast crunch. I think that's so cool. This is just really good because it gives me the flavors of Neapolitan and it's cold and I like the fact that it's chilled. I think it works well. Then I already said this one. And this one's good. It's just good. There's no, there's no bad cookie in here this week. Overall, I hope you guys loved my review this week. I cannot wait to see you guys again for Crumble Cookie Monday. I think I'm going to film the Popeyes, what is it, the flounder fish sandwich that came out. That did really well for me when I was first starting to make videos, like really seriously last year. I think I'm gonna make it again. So, be on the lookout for that. I love you guys so very much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Also, real quick guys, I got an apartment. I got a place. I got, I got a home. Home sweet home. Maybe I'll do a little tour of it. Once it's done, I don't even have a couch yet. It's been 15 days and I've been sitting on the floor. I'll let you guys know when I get a couch. Couches are expensive, man. All right, I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.